one thing I learned is every single business starts off small. Then it grows. Humble beginnings equals success. And when I gone on this whole journey the journey last year when I quit doing YouTube for the longest time. I might upload one video a month or some shit like that. And I just wanted to learn as much as I can from business. From people that actually have successful businesses. And I realized what a lot of them do say is college is a waste of money. And I'm like, cool. And I thought the same too. i never been an A student. I was more of a CDS student. And those whole like terminology, not really terminology, but uh, from a lot, from what like ninety percent of these people say, is that the A student works for the C student. Now I don't know how much that actually is true because I have never experienced none of that shit. But there is people that want to take risks, and those people that are not. And from me, in my experiences, seeing my mom lose her house in, like, 09, 10-ish, I don't want that shit to happen to me. And then what if I get laid off from a so-called job? That's my line of thinking. And that's why I think the way that I do. And that's why I don't trust jobs. I don't really trust corporations. Like, even what, even YouTube, without YouTube, some of people that are on here don't make a living. They just make a living off YouTube, which I don't fully trust it, but it is a revenue stream that I could actually use to my benefit to rise up. And one thing that I actually do learn from these guys is that you need to have more than one revenue stream. So let's say YouTube. That's one. Some sell books, uh, T-shirts, uh, freaking Amazon links, all of this other stuff. You know what you sell could be anything, as long as you get people to buy it. If you get people to buy it, and you're freaking good to go. You're making good money. Then you are not. Then you can have people who work for you too, which I probably won't. I'm probably gonna be doing a lot of this work by for myself. Like if this channel grows, and if I'm actually have enough money to have maybe two, three people under me, then I would do it. Or just do like a partnership through a podcast, where both of us split the money fifty fifty. I'd be cool with that shit. And uh, another revenue source a lot of YouTubers actually use. I'm, sh I'm sure you guys know if you guys watch NBA channels, that's what they normally do. On every single video on these bigger NBA channels, we all always have a video ad that they placed in the video. Because they get paid to do it. And that some people's livelihood because they made a bad mistake by signing up with NBA to NBA. I forget what it's called, but it's like NBA something. And they're taking all the ad revenue. you know. So I'm happy. Like, I feel bad for them, but I'm happy that they did it so I could look out for it and not make the same mistake, you know? And that's partly why when I make my NBA videos, I don't show all you guys seeing is my face. Because if I show any NBA content, the NBA could claim it and I'll be making no money whatsoever. And that's with like movie trailers and that bullshit too. I know Angry Joe was complaining about it. Again. And that's why you don't do it, because company is all greedy. And they don't care about you. All, all like, 90% of these companies, especially the big, like, movie companies, all they care about is making money. They don't care about nothing else. That's with, like, big corporations. And that's, and they have a lot of people employed as well. 
But anyways, this video is long as hell, so I'm gonna, gonna have to say peace.